This video will cover the topic, Amplitude and Period of Sine and Cosine Functions. I know sine and cosine functions look like waves, but what are the amplitude and period? If we have a function of the form y equals a sine bx, or y equals a cosine bx, the amplitude is the absolute value of a. This value tells us the largest possible y value of the equation and it is half the distance between the maximum and minimum values of the function. The period tells us how often the wave will repeat itself. For f of x equals sine x or f of x equals cosine x, the period is 2 pi because the wave repeats itself every 2 pi units. For a function of the form a sine bx or a cosine bx, we can find the period as follows. The period equals 2 pi divided by b. Okay, with this information, can we take a look at an example problem? Of course. Say we're given the equation y equals 3 halves sine of 3x. We can identify a as 3 halves, and we can identify b as 3. This tells us that we can determine the amplitude as the absolute value of 3 halves, which equals 3 halves. Next, we can determine the period as 2 pi over 3. So we see that our amplitude equals 3 halves and our period equals 2 pi thirds for the function y equals 3 halves sine of 3x. Okay, I think this topic makes sense. So the amplitude is half the distance between the minimum and maximum values of a sine or cosine function. We can determine the amplitude by looking at the value of a. The period tells us how often the wave repeats itself and can be determined by 2 pi over b. That's exactly right. Great work!